All right, boys, so we're out here in Bali right now. We probably look weird as fuck because it's on 0.5. Oh, but shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so you got long ass legs, bro. <laughs> I don't <need> straighten up. Then. <laughs> <laughs> you look mad and comfortable right now, bro. It's fine. It doesn't look no, too bad. Good. But yeah, we're out here in Bali with my boy, Sebastiano. It's yes, crazy, sir. bro. I mean, a couple of months we were in Cape Town. And I think a lot has changed, like, from now since then. Obviously, yeah. we've just been staying on our same trajectory. And a lot of the things that we spoke about back then, you know, we're, we're still doing at the moment. But a lot has changed just in terms of taking things off the bucket list, especially for me. I think yeah. you can probably say the same thing. I 100%. Mean, just the fact that I'm out here in Bali has been something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And I always said that by the end of 2024, I would be in Bali. And now it's, it's May 2024. And look where we are. So, yeah. Off the hit list. Crazy. Not, another thing to check off. Yeah, I think... Um Especially for me, like it, I never had like a goal to come to Bali, but it's, it's the whole purpose of, of um, guys who want to do stuff online. I think one of the main purpose is just having that freedom. So always being able to travel, it's exactly. just a massive privilege. So yeah, whether it was here, whether it was in Europe, it's just, it's a privilege boys. 100%. Um, super happy to be here. And uh, this is what it's all, if you guys ever get into the space, like this is what it really boils down to. Like money's good. Um, other stuff is nice like the materialistic stuff can be cool but at the end of the day having experiences um, at, at this age and being able to travel with your boys or with your girlfriend or whatever you please uh, want to do that's like that's like really the main thing like the experiences 100%. I mean bro at the end of the day you can have 100k in your bank account you can have a million in your bank account but if you've made that 100k sitting in your room and then you go on to make another 900k just sitting in your room Chances are you probably won't have grown a lot as a person, even though your bank account has grown insane amounts. Yeah. It's what it's the experience that actually changes you, that alters your perspective, and that expands your mind. So yeah, I've made it my mission to travel this year, not only to meet people, but also to expand my mind to new experiences, new things, and see what's really out there. You know, before I left yeah. Cape Town, I was so in a bubble, and when I went to my first country, the first thing I realized was just that there's so many fucking people on this planet, bro. Like, that, yeah. that's the first thing, like, that's the first mindset shift that I have, that I had. And that really helped me to stop giving a fuck about what people thought about me because I realized that there's so many people, so one opinion doesn't really carry that much weight. But, yeah, I mean, that, that's uh, it's a bit off, it's off topic, but that was, like, one of the first mindset shifts that I have from traveling. And yeah. I know I still have so much more to gain. Yeah, 100%. It's also, like, experiencing different cultures is just so key. Um, for your like perspective on life like seeing how different people live exactly. for example us coming here and uh walking in the rice fields and you see an old man living in a little hut like super happy smiling and then you get a lot of us guys complaining in super nice houses or eating good food when these people are happy with nothing yeah. so it also it's just it's just good for your perspective sure. um i don't know man this place is like paradise we can touch paradise. on that We'll touch like, on that now. I mean, there's positives and there's negatives. You know, it, it all depends what you want to achieve in life. It's very easy. And I think, it will, obviously, I haven't been here for long, but from what I've experienced so far, I think it, it will be very easy to get stuck here. You know, we're speaking about the fact that we don't need to be making 10, 20, 50, 100K a month to stay here. We could get a basic remote job or even run a very small online business, make two to $5,000 and live a beautiful life. I mean, we're yeah. sitting on these beanbag now for completely free. We just rented surfboards for 50,000 IDR, which is like, what, like 55 two, rand, 55 rand, like $2, two, $3. We just came from our nice villa, which we paid, you know, a fraction of the amount that we would have paid for in Cape Town. So yeah. we're living like kings here and we hardly be spending any of our money. Yeah. So if you really wanted to, you could get a very, you know, like a decent online job, remote job, or make two to five thousand dollars from your online business and come to a place like this and be completely happy you get good sun yeah. be around good energy but of course it all just depends what what you're pushing for in life you know we know we want to go more and and experience more but we still have, can appreciate things like this too yeah like boys because i know it's mainly south african boys watching this is like even on twenty thousand rand a month you can come here and fucking you can eat out every day have a nice villa. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe not eat out every yeah. day. Like yeah. if you if you're making like thirty thousand rand, fifteen hundred dollars, you can get a five hundred dollar or less. Probably 
three hundred dollars. If you like have some boys, apartment. like if you and five boys come, then you make twenty thousand rand a month each, and you come here with like a little bit saved, you can have a holiday that will top any experience in any um, European or um, North or South American holiday could. This is just like. I don't know how to put it it's just it's so nice like it's, it's unbelievable so nice. actually if you guys really wanted to you can even eat here like um super nice food for 11 rand bro it's crazy yeah. but um, i mean it might not be the best dining experience <laughs> but the food quality will be good you know if you're yeah. going to the super westernized places they obviously they're trying to attract tourists so they make it look all pretty you're going to be spending more but there's always a, a very cheap option and there's a much more expensive option that's what i realized about this place it's a very wide spectrum of, yeah, of pricing yeah. I mean, yeah, we just bought clothes for like a nice shirt, pants for like 500 rand. So yeah, it's insane. nothing. But yeah, um, what was I gonna say? There was also something you were like touching on. Uh, you can get comfortable here. I guess it's, uh, it's all like what you want to achieve in life. Um, I guess a lot of people do come here because I work in sales and I speak to a lot of guys that would be comfortable just coming here. Um, I do believe all of us guys. This is like a great place to start, but we should always, uh, I feel like once you get to this level, you must always push for a bit more. I'm not saying like I'm super high level or nothing. I'm still at yeah. the, the top of the iceberg, but I'm sure. I mean, I'll there's say always more you can push for. And this is like, I think if you're just starting out, this is one of the best places to just come, um, lock in and uh, just learn a few things, experience, experience new things. Yeah. I mean, I'll say you always need to be pushing for more because if you're not growing, you're dying, you know? Yeah. If you're not leveling up, eventually you're going to start losing momentum and your momentum is going to start getting reversed and your everything that you've built will come crashing down. With most businesses and most things in life, you don't just build it up once and then you're set. It's something that you have to keep working on. Yeah. So especially if you're running your own business, if you come here and you get comfortable, it's all going to come crashing down and I'll tell you that for a fact. Yeah. But yeah, I mean... If you're just starting out, come here, lock in, make sure to get in good routine because that's something that we struggled with in the beginning. I mean, yeah. we've only been here for five days, but when we first came here, of course, we're all over the place. Our sleep was messed up. We weren't getting much work done. We just weren't yeah. efficient whatsoever. Yeah, but Boys, you can really like lose track here. That's like also like the main, that's a point. You can, you can literally, yeah, you can, it's just so comfortable. It's crazy. You can uh, get, you can get very comfortable here, but definitely, I guess what we can uh, say from this is definitely recommend. And we've only been here for like five days. 100% recommend. Um, whether you have a lot of money or little money to come here a couple months a year is just 100% uh, worth it. 100%. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think what's sick, boys, is like um, another thing here. If you definitely come, I recommend uh, going the extra mile. Like you can obviously be frugal here, but for example, the gym. You know, there is gyms here where you can spend a lot less and still nice but uh, we opted for most probably the most expensive gym here probably the most expensive it definitely gym. is actually the, the most expensive gym here uh, and still that's only like 2,000 rand a month but even there we've met so many sick people already uh, just at that gym if you want to come network I think here's also a great place to come during summer there's just so many guys uh, here I mean if you came with a few boys and you were doing business you could definitely meet some guys here and even collab or do some business deals whatever it is you want to do um so I would, with certain things i would go like the extra mile like the gym how sick is that gym we've been going to yeah of course like, well i mean if you if you get to network of course yeah. you want to put yourself in the rooms of people that are paying the premium for things yeah, yeah that means that they're also making money and that they're willing to spend and they probably yeah. also see the value in having a network but yeah i mean go for the most expensive stuff you know if you have the budget for it of course not only is the, will the food quality be better if it's a restaurant, yeah. but also, for example, our gym, we've got sauna, we've got ice, ice bath, bath, we've got a pool, there's a restaurant there, so it's insane equipment, insane machines. And like, not that it really matters, but literally, I think we've spoken to a couple people there, and like, three out of five people we speak to have like between 100 and like 400,000 followers on Instagram or running online businesses. Um, yeah. So I feel like a lot of Pretty much, Bali is one of the best places for um, sort of digital, <laughs> digital nomads. Di yeah. Digital nomads, like People there's just so money many. Online, yeah, yeah, there's so many here. Um, yeah, and there's just content creators and stuff like that. It's cool. Like you can really collab a lot with people here if you really wanted to. And uh, we're still networking a bit with people, but we've met some cool people here for sure while we've while we've been here already. Sure. 
do you think being out in Bali has motivated you more or motivated you less? That's a good question. Um, I think more, to be honest. Okay. Like, my goals have literally changed since I came here. True, like, yeah. like we mentioned before. Um, I think it's motivated me more because it's not in the sense like the, the surroundings, just like a goal came about that uh, I want to be able to travel more on my own schedule. So I am working remotely online, but I am in, uh, employed. Like definitely one of my goals for me would be to um, go self-employed down the line uh, so I can do all of this by myself. And that's definitely motivated me here with Liam. Uh, so we're working on a few things as well here. And um, literally me and Liam have been having countless discussions on new business ideas and stuff like that. So that's really like yeah, fired me up, especially after the night at the club, bro. Yeah, so like, essentially yeah. we went out to the club for the first time. Yeah. It's actually funny, bro. So we went out to the club for the first time we got decently hammered yeah. and the, the next morning we woke up and we were like fuck questioning that, yeah. everything bro not even questioning everything but we're like fuck that bro we're done with drinking <laughs> oh, shit. we're gonna make a million like we're like yeah. no we really need a lock in now so yeah, yeah i mean yeah. that's also something that i want to touch on bro and i don't think that this is necessarily a healthy loop to be in but something that i found myself or something that i found happening to me is oftentimes i'll start maybe slacking off a little bit and then I'll do something bad or I'll fall into a bad habit again. Oh, Maybe shit. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> this is getting cut. <laughs> Hold your thought, bro. <laughs> Pass me my towel. Bro, that's fucking mud. Alright, resume. Resume. <laughs> 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 so where was I bro so yeah we went out to the club the other night drank quite a bit of alcohol got a bit of a, a late night and I woke like, up lit, super late bro super late like 5am nearly we went to bed yeah yeah we're, yeah, we're, yeah. <laughs> we can keep that actually okay, we okay. Can keep it there. Let's keep that okay <laughs> not that part but no no like the, right, but right. when I was when you were still discussing and I'd like shit on my chest <laughs> all right fuck bro so yeah we went out to the club got pretty drunk i don't know we just did a lot of degenerate shit if i'm honest it just yeah we just yeah we weren't acting how we should act um we didn't kill anybody or anything like that but yeah there was just a lot of shit that went down that probably could have been avoided or yeah just that we shouldn't have even indulged in at all all right and we woke up and i felt an extreme sense of motivation to basically just get my life together not that my life yeah. isn't together but i just felt way more motivated to get back into a routine and to get back to work and to really just build something great because at the end of the day when you're building things great that feeling is going to last a lot longer than 100 instant gratification and temporary yeah. pleasure of going out and drinking and doing things like this i'm not saying you shouldn't do that ever there's a time and a place for it but things that take time to give you gratification are always going to be I'll give you a much stronger sense of gratification than short-term gratification. So, yeah. this is one cycle that I felt myself often falling into where I'll start slacking off, start maybe getting a little bit more comfortable, I'll fall back into old habits, and then I'll be extremely motivated again afterwards. And I'm not saying that this is a healthy habit to be in, but if you have control over this, you can almost use it to your benefits. You can use it as a positive, right? If you see yourself starting to slack off, do something bad, do something that's gonna push over the edge. It's yeah. gonna come back and you're gonna realize, fuck that, I'm gonna go so much harder right now. So I've never done it intentionally, it's always been unintentional, but every single time that I fall back into old habits, I come back and I'm so much more motivated than I was before I fell into those bad habits. I feel like so many people can resonate with that. Um, Cause everyone's experienced that, right? You've done some shit in your life and you're like, fuck now, nah, change needs to happen. For me, it would, it would only like in the past happen after like big shits hit the fan. But now more and more, even for the smaller things, like I'm starting to find myself having to kick myself back into to routine again. Yeah. Like uh, in the past, it would be like losing a job or other things, like losing other things that I was like, okay, fuck, I need to get my life in order. But now even just one night out in Bali getting completely <laughs> fucking shit faced, waking up with a headache, um, like that's motivated me now also to get back into routine. And we've been fucking crushing it. Um, yeah, we're eating super clean 
getting a lot of sun, exercising, doing cardio, exactly. building uh, businesses. Um, Liam's building. Well, you got you got the one business. You're building another one at building the moment. Another very sick business. Uh, I'm excited to release. I got the job, and I'm building two businesses at the moment. I still need to start on the other one, but the other one, uh, baby yeah. steps. So we're getting there. We're getting yeah, there. Um, and it's just sick, boys. I think we already touched on this, but. I don't know, I just can't get out of my head. Like, I wish all of you guys can experience this, like, going overseas insane, with your boys. Like, there's, I don't think there's anything nicer to do than just being with your boys overseas. It's, um, it's, it's amazing. Even, like, you can, re- like, all the, I know all the gens can resonate this with this. It's, like, just even being at a bar or, like, fucking watching the rugby or whatever, just with your boys talking shit. Like, that's so much, that's, for me, is number one activity. And then imagine doing that overseas while you're building businesses, while you're gymming together. Uh, even like obviously we do the degenerate shit like going out um, honestly bro I can't think of anything better like really I can't think of anything better it's just it's so fucking sick it's amazing I think everyone owes it to themselves to experience this um, but it definitely does make a big difference of the type of people that you're with you know I'm, I'm happy with you I'm happy yeah. that I'm here with you yeah. you know we both have similar mindsets we've been bouncing off of each other and I think that's also been helping us motivate each other I mean I feel more motivated being around you you yeah. know, when I see you working there, he's been working in the, the living room, yeah. the desk setup. When I work, when I walk out and I see him working, you know, I'm more motivated to go back and do my work too. It's, it's very healthy competition. Competition, 100%. And I think all guys should also, like, you should be with your boys, but then you should also have, like, that motivation, not even just for work, like, for also gym, um, like, motivating each other to do more in the gym, yeah. doing more cardio. I remember the other day I was fucking, like, gents, I was on a one and a half hour sleep. I went to bed at three o'clock in the morning, woke up 3.30 in the morning, woke up 5.30 uh, or like two. It was like one and a half, two hours sleep, something like that. I don't know when I fell asleep. Um, went to the waterfalls, everything, long day. Then at like 6 p.m., Liam came out of his room. He's like, guys, we're going to go on a run. And he didn't and, want to. And bro. I was like, fuck that, bro. I'm destroyed. We've already done 10,000 <laughs> steps today. Um, did we hit gym? No, we didn't hit the gym. We didn't hit gym, but... We did like a massive mission, three hours on the bike uh, across Bali. And then Liam has the nerve to come on like, okay, we're going to go on a run, boys. And uh, keep on, he kept on pressing me. And then eventually I just fucking got up and we, we got the job done. And looking yeah. back, you're probably grateful that I pressed you, right? Yes, like, bro. In like, the yeah, moments, was, you know, yeah. when you have that competition, it might be a little bit annoying. You might be like, fuck off, bro. Like, I actually just don't want it. You know, <laughs> yeah. I just want to chill. You yeah. know, I don't have to answer what you want me to do. Yeah. And you don't always have to, of course. But I mean, Sano decided, okay, fuck it, I'll go on a run with Liam. And, and I felt sure so good afterwards, afterwards. looking yeah. back, he was glad that he did it. And I knew that he would feel good. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, it's all about just, just being uncomfortable, I guess. Like we said, it's so easy to get comfortable, especially when you're alone. And yeah. doing things like going out and drinking, it might not make you uncomfortable in terms of you know money, or you might spend a bunch of money and then you're like, shit, I need to make more money. But for me, it kind of makes me uncomfortable in the mind. You know, I just know that I shouldn't be doing that all the time. So even if you engineer situations where you feel uncomfortable, you know, put yourself in a more expensive villa, go buy more expensive food, put that yeah. pressure on yourself to keep making money, and that's how you continue to work and continue to grow. Yeah, I think it is maybe rather off topic, but. Um I think one thing one of, a lot of you guys have to like start doing, which I know a lot of guys um, aren't, but you got to be like not as frugal with your money, actually. Like if you're making X amount of like a little bit of money, um, there's no difference between having uh, 20 or 200,000 in your bank. Like you must always be trying to, l- I don't know if this is actually the best advice, but Look so, like advice. slightly above your means. Like even with me in Cape Town in my apartment and stuff, I do feel like I'm maybe living slightly above my means. But that just motivates you to earn even more and do even even better. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Yeah, I mean you're keeping that pressure on yourself to keep earning money, right? And earn yeah. more. Like you need to level up your life to the point where you're currently at. Of course, yeah. don't spend more money than you're earning. Keep a little bit of a, a gap so that you can save that money and build a solid foundation for yourself. But it needs to come close so that you have that pressure in you. It's literally, it's literally fire on your ass. Yes, it's, it's yeah. a, a, a lighter underneath your cash. Yeah. And the only way to not burn all of that is to keep stacking more and more and more. Yeah, 100%. Literally it's like with my apartment in Cape Town, I could have rented somewhere a lot worse for a third of the price, but I was like, fuck it, I want the nice location, I want the nice building. Yeah. Um, and I pay, you pay the premium for that. And it's, for me, it's also a mental thing, bro. When you're paying the premium, you're getting nicer things, you're telling yourself that, this is who I am, you know, I can yeah. afford these things. Yeah. You're just reaffirming that belief in your mind. 
So if you're in a nice ass place and all you see is nice things, you're eating good food, not only are you gonna feel good physically because you're eating the most expensive stuff, you're gonna feel good mentally because you're in a beautiful location. You're probably gonna be around good energy because it's all guys that are also earning good money that are willing yeah. to spend that. Um, so it's all just reaffirming the belief that this is what you're destined for, right? And it's even small things like where I live in Greenpoint, every time I step out, I'm seeing Lamborghinis, Ferraris, G-Wagons, fucking Aston Martins, Bentleys, uh, even Rolls Royces sometimes. Like even there's the small things, but every, every single day I'm seeing that. When I walk to the gym or I walk to go get groceries or whatever the case may be, every single day you see that stuff, it, it's like, fuck, that's gonna be me one day. Like yeah. I, I'm gonna get to that one day. And one thing I also wanna touch on is, is we're so young guys because i know we're speaking probably to the guys our age or a bit younger maybe a little bit older um there's no risk we could lose it all like yeah i mean I'm we here, spoke many times bro yeah, I, like, could, I could go broke tomorrow i could lose everything i'm only 20 years old it, like i'm only 20 years old you bro. might as well i got 10 years to like make make a million if i want to make a million and yeah. then i'm only 30 bro yes then i'm, I'm yeah, still yeah. young and yeah, I was gonna say something else now, but you go. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty much just like you have nothing to lose. Yeah, uh, you I, could you could be twenty two and lose it all, and you're still your child. And we're, like, also, we're children, bro. Like I'm yeah. a little boy. I have I have nothing we, to we lose. We don't even here. have facial hair, bro. Yeah, like, we, we're little kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Yeah. To, I'm here experiencing this. I could lose it all tomorrow, but I know I I'd be able to make it back. Yeah, and also one thing that we were also speaking about is that you can actually achieve so much so much with just like three months of extremely focused work. Yes, yeah. right now, maybe we're not as focused as we could be. Of course, we're getting back into the swing of things. But it doesn't mean that we must stress, right? Because we know that we can always just go back to Cape Town, proper lock in for like three months and yeah. see exponential progress, you know? It's yeah. just over three months. Bro, I could lose everything, every cent in my bank. And I could just go to my parents. <laughs> I could go move back in with my parents, work two months, get in another job or some shit. Yeah. And then just start building from, from ground zero again. Like you really do honestly have nothing to lose. That maybe the guys in university may not resonate with this because they have like goals and they have something that they're working towards which is the degree but you guys who maybe aren't doing that uh who aren't in university or stuff like there really is no risk so don't find yourself getting comfortable doing normal jobs and staying yeah. there like you living in be, you need to be like, completely detached from money bro yeah you got to be you that's, have to that's let it flow and you have to say. take extremely big risks yeah even if this risk might completely drain your bank account it's fine you can drain your bank account five times yeah. and you'll only be 25 you can drain your bank account up 10 times and you'll still be extremely young but when you're placing these big bets eventually one more hit and that yeah. will make back 10 times all the money that bro you i think it's the saying it's like the more risks you take the luckier you get it's just like, high risk high reward yeah that's for just, example when i wanted to get into remote sales while i was in university in america i spent every single cent in my bank account i i could only do one month of a three month payment plan and i spent every single cent of my month in my bank account for one month because i knew i would make it happen and i didn't make it happen we well, bought a course right you yeah bought i bought a, a course yeah. i bought a mentorship and i didn't make it happen and i gave it everything and then i was like a big fuck up i was like fuck i just spent all my money that i've saved over the last fucking 18 years for nothing but then it works out boys like you might in the moment feel like you it hasn't been the right choice but somehow things always come back if when you take the risks eventually they're going to pay off yes. like for me then i lost everything but three months later um i just had a thing hit and then it's just only been up from there like there's no point saving pennies yeah. I, like there's just just spend it like not on stupid shit but reinvest it into yourself learn skills when you have a million dollar mindset you're not worried about losing a thousand dollars yeah exactly because that's you got your really eyes really focused on a million bro yeah so like i said be completely detached from the money keep putting the bets in let that shit flow and the more it flows the bigger bets you place the more it's going to come for you yeah i mean like you said you lost everything a couple months down the line you've probably made 10 times more than that way more yeah way more like 30 exactly yeah it's crazy um and it's only the beginning like uh honestly i have so much uh, so far still to go like um I'm not doing incredibly well, but I feel like I'm doing very well for how short I've been in the game. Like someone like Liam, I know you've only been seriously in the game, also for the run, same amount of time as me, but you've been learning the skills and building the, the skill set up for five years. Yeah. Like, and that, that skill set paid you off in three months because you took five years to build exactly. about four years. For me, I've only really been building the skill sets, building the necessary skills to start businesses and make a success over the last year. So, 
yeah, I don't know where what I wanted to say after that, but yeah, uh, I mean, it's just yeah, you gotta you gotta take the risk and, and uh, you gotta build the skills and you gotta invest in yourself, invest into the skills that you need to be that million dollar man. Like, you'll never get the skills to learn how to make a million if you're not prepared to spend a million. There's one that what did Alex Homosi say? He said, um, every month you. You don't learn how to make a million dollars as a month. You, you lose a million dollars. You're effectively dollars or losing. Or, yeah. yeah. If you don't know how to do something, if you don't know how to make a million, you're effectively losing a million. million. Yeah. All right. But yeah, I mean, one thing I also say is that looking back, everything has seemed like it's changed extremely quick. I'm sure you can probably say yes, the same thing. Yeah. But when you're in the moment, it's going to feel extremely long. And that's just how it always is going to be. If you're trying to achieve something in life, it's going to feel extremely long because you've never achieved it before, right? So you're waiting on it, you're waiting on it, you're waiting on it. Oh, why is it taking so long? It must just come already. But one day you'll wake up and you'll look back and you'll be amazed by how quickly it has actually changed. Yeah. And even if it did take long, it won't matter because you would have achieved it anyway. You have to remember all that we have is this present moment. So yeah. if I have a million dollars in my bank account now in this present moment, I don't care if it took five years to get here because I'm not feeling how I was feeling five years ago and during that journey. Yeah, I'm exactly. only feeling how I'm feeling now. So. It doesn't really matter how you're feeling now, as long as you have full confidence that you will get there one day, you'll be completely detached from how long it's going to be. 100%. And uh, I was going to touch on that, but I forgot what I was going to say. No, I was like looking good. at the waves. Give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> no, the waves are beautiful out here, guys. Like, I wish you could see what we're seeing. Yeah, it's they'll a, see on this podcast. I'm actually not looking at the camera at all. When you're speaking, I'm like just no, it's fine, like, looking here. That's fine. Um, I was going to say something... Uh, sick now oh yeah pretty much boys like a lot of, another thing is you're gonna see all these guys on instagram um or videos on instagram saying oh you can make ten thousand dollars a month in x amount of days it's like unfortunately a lot of us have been conditioned to think success comes quick like back in your father go ask your father if he wanted to start a business 20 30 years ago they would hope that that business would be profitable three years down the line like it's a long process. I don't know yeah. since when it's become a thing that you need to start making millions within a fucking one month. Like, you, I know everyone's giving up because they think it's supposed to come quick. Like, you'll do something for one month and you'll be like, oh, this doesn't work. Just because yeah. you haven't put the time. Like, a lot of guys, they take years before they see results, but it's always, it compounds. Like, if you're consistent every day and do the same things every day with the goal to get a certain point, even if it takes one year, it can literally just change in a month. If you do 11 months failing, literally one month can make up for that 11 months. Nothing's 100%. supposed to come quick. Like for me, uh, with the sales, for example, I mean, I get uh, some guys now these days DMing me like, how do I get into the space? Um, some of my friends even, and they just give up after like one week of trying. They don't even put effort into forming interviews like Loom uh, interv interview videos. For me, I worked fucking three months for free for people. And then I've tried to work, I was working three months to try to get a paid offer before I yep. even got a first paid offer. It took me six months. Six months is not even that long, boys. Like six months is not a long time. It's not long at all. To like change, change the way things go. Like within six months, I started earning an income that can support things like this. Yep. Six months. Like if you actually think about it. That's nothing, bro. You, you could be 20. You turn 20 in January and then... July, you could uh, be making an income like this. And if you just stay 20. consistent. And you're literally still you're 20. You're still 20. Like, yeah. it's, it's really not... It does, it's nothing special. People yeah. always think there's something, like, special that needs to happen. It literally isn't. If you just do the same thing every day, like, reach out to 10 business owners every day, uh, practice your skills, uh, learn sales, read books on sales or podcasts on sales, etc., etc., every day, eventually it's going to come. Like, Eventually it may take we'll one month for some guys, it may take six, and it I may take a year, but it, it's always worth it. It's always yeah. worth it. It always pays off. Nothing good ever comes quick. Yeah, I mean, imagine if you could just make a million in a month, like, it wouldn't feel that good. It might yeah. feel very good quickly, like, like, it'll feel good initially, but you'll lose it very quickly, you know? It's yeah. a much better feeling knowing that you've worked for something, and you've worked harder than everyone else. And the thing is, everyone wants this life, guys. It's an amazing life. Let's be honest, everybody wants it. Yeah. So you're competing with thousands of people. And to give you some peace of mind with that is uh, yeah, most thousands. people aren't even doing anything, bro. Most people are giving up over one week. Those, that's your yeah. competition. I was so going to say, like... That's not motivation yeah. for you to not work hard. That's motivation for you to work harder than everyone else. Because exactly. everyone wants what you want, but not everyone is willing to go the extra mile. So you need to be the one that is willing to go the extra mile. 
that's literally what I was going to say. I love thinking about this because when I was back in the day, I used to watch Iman Gaji, for example. So say his video got a million views, the one where he's trying to promote an agency being the best business model. That video maybe got a million views. Of that million, how many guys do you think are actually going to click off that video and then try to start something? Maybe 1%? If so, you so like 100,000 people, okay? Of that 100,000, after the first so day 10%. that they... It's 10%. 10% of 100. Okay, yeah, sorry, 10,000. Of that 10,000 people who try, after the first day, also 80% will give up. I wouldn't even say 10,000 people would try initially. Yeah, bro, it's even less. Like, like the comp there's, there's no competition, boys. You actually think, like, because you, you're seeing all these videos on Instagram and millions of people liking them, where you see, oh, there's like so many guys doing, there's no one, bro. You can count them on your fingers. That That's was good okay. things. Thank you very much. There's, there's literally. There's no competition. Actually, if you think about it, like no you can count them on your. There's only like a couple hundred to a thousand people who who stick it out in each niche. Yeah. Like in sales, the, 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 it it actually you might think it's so big that like the, the space is small. Like I know the we, the we, majority of the people in the industry, and it's you're in small. You're in the echo chamber, bro. Yeah. You know, oftentimes you also think that there might be a lot of people trying to do what you're trying to do, but yeah. that is because again, you just contains your little bubble. Like also traveling made me realize that yeah. you know there's, there's still so many people in the world just working normal jobs. Like there's always yeah. going to be more. Let's say for sales, there's always going to be more prospects than people selling. Exactly. You know? yeah. if, if you're doing e-com, there's always going to be more buyers than there are sellers. That's yes. just how it is. We live in a consumer concept, a society. Yeah. You know? Not everyone's selling stuff. Very few people are selling stuff online in, in the grand scheme of things, and even less amount of people are doing it properly. Yeah. I guess. The point I just want to make, because I know like the, the majority of the guys listening to us, it's just like you shouldn't give up, boys. Like if you, I, because I get, I know a lot of people just telling me they're like, oh, I hate university. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do after uni, or maybe they're out of uni and they're like, I don't know. I'm, I was speaking to this one guy who's out of uni, um, and he's doing a normal sales job in South Africa. He's like, I don't, I hate my job. Uh, I don't know what to do. It, I guess it, it just always boils down like it's so cliche. Yeah. Because everyone gives us advice, but it's just if you. The day you give up is the day you lose. If you think about it, if you never, ever, ever give up, you have you never, never lost. Because every time you lose, you just learn a lesson. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every single yeah. time you lose, you gain experience, and that yeah. experience compounds to you eventually getting success. Like you owe yourself not to give up. Why the fuck would you work so hard just to give up? Why the fuck would you live a life where you do give up, bro? Yeah. You know. But I think the problem is everyone's operating out of a place of fear. Everyone's yes, scared that they're gonna lose their money. Or that they are it's not gonna work for them or that yeah. you know they're not gonna make a success they're operating out of fear so as soon as they see something that maybe gives them a little bit of doubt you know maybe a minor failure they, yes. event, they, they immediately step back because they're yeah. scared that it's gonna fail they don't want to fail mentally they don't want to feel like a loser as well and yeah. they're worried that they're gonna lose all of their cash yeah no 100% and I think another thing I'll say because I was also one of the egos like, as well they yeah. don't want to fail because they think it's going to hurt their ego. Yeah, that's also another point. But one thing I'll say for me is, I don't like to say it's giving up, but one thing that was always for me, because I've done so many things in my life and I've never given up on everything I've wanted to do, I've always gotten good at it, is I know even you could relate to this. You might be trying something and then you just have so many issues that you do give up. But then what matters is you come back the next day and you, you try again and you solve the issues. Yeah. If you get what I'm, if you get what I'm trying to say, like yeah, when I, mean, I was trying to learn... Um, that's making beats and I was yeah. trying to learn the software every single day I gave up and then eventually I gave up for like a month then I came back I used I kept to have that going. mindset as well bro when yeah. I was first doing e-com yeah. I would wake up I'd have a Facebook ban or there would be a payment process or hold or something like that and that would cause me to literally stop Yeah. but you need to understand that the process is going to have problems like there's always going to be problems and it's yeah. about overcoming those problems jumping over the hurdles I know it's cliche advice but like yeah. I really want people to internalize it because like I keep it boys like thing, just don't bro. give up it's yeah. like there would be a problem and I think oh no there's not supposed to be a problem let yeah. me give up no there's supposed to be problems there's gonna be there's problems there's always yeah. gonna be problems it's, it's, it's cliche but it really is just the best advice it's just never give up like yeah. if you never give up you'll never lose <laughs> it's even like me when I lost all the money I felt like giving up but when I look back now in that month that I got, uh, for example, in that course, what I learned in that month was m enough knowledge to make back tenfold, twentyfold, a hundredfold yeah. of, of what I spent. I mean, if you guys haven't seen my dropshipping video, like when I documented the process, 
I was losing money every single day, dude. It was getting to me mentally. Yeah. There was a point where I was like, you know, maybe I should just like go back to my sales job, whatever. Yeah. But I didn't give up. And then a couple days later, from when I wanted to give up, I made fifteen thousand dollars, pretty much. Yeah. It and can then, happen so quick. Yeah. Like that's. It's also what we touched on earlier. Is like you can work eleven months and fail, but if you keep going, even in one month, you can make back all the hardships of the eleven months of failing. Just it 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 happens so quick. Like, it, and then you, you don't even realize it. Like, it just, because I don't know how you put this. Like, you almost feel like it's supposed to happen. It may not happen, like, like, like once again, like I said, in 11 months. But then when it does come, you feel like it's, I don't know how to word this uh, properly. Yeah. I don't know how well, to word what I'm trying to say. You need but to be certain that it will happen, you know? Yeah. Like, I think that's the first thing. Just, even if it's delusional. And it's not delusional because anything's possible. Like yeah. you need to understand, delusional probably isn't even a real word. Like delusion, yeah. being delusional for your goals isn't a thing because you truly can do anything. So there's not such thing as being delusional, bro. 100%. But to make it simpler to explain, you need to be delusional even if your situation is shit right now. You need to realize, okay, no, I'm gonna easily just achieve what I want, and then keep working like you're gonna achieve it tomorrow. Mm. Because why would you quit if you can do it? If you can achieve it tomorrow, all you have to do is work today for it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. A lot of guys think that maybe it's not possible for them. That's also like another limiting belief. People like for think certain, that like, it only happens to people that are special. Like nobody's special. Boys, I was fucking, I got shitty grades in high school. Uh, well, not shit. I got like sub-average, just sub-average grades. I wasn't smart. Um, like I'm not special. And you hear this from everybody. I'm no more special than you are. Like everyone is capable of achieving anything um, that you just put your mind to and don't give up on. The only reason I think... I've been able to achieve my stuff. It's just because I'm tenacious. Like I've never given up. Like I've, I've just had really good like um, tenacity. What is like it? Your pure tenacity coupled with sheer indefatigability. What's that thing? No, that's Tate not. Says, no, Tate <laughs> doesn't say tenacity. It's some. No, no. Uh, what does he say? Indefatigability. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah some yeah. shit his dad said. I actually don't know the saying. I used to know it, but no, he doesn't say tenacious. Oh, okay. But yeah. Not bad then. But Big yo, up. Anything is possible, guys. Like, I hope you guys found this this podcast or this little clip valuable. You know, we've been having crazy conversations while we've been out here. So this is just yeah. a, a little look into it. Like some of the shit we've been discussing business-wise, I would love to put on a pod, but it's just. Uh, actually, we can cut that. Well, I was gonna say it's too valuable. Like, say yeah. it, bro. There's a lot of stuff yeah. that we we just can't drop at the moment. Yeah, it's because too valuable. Because of course we can't share everything. You but know, um, if, if we gave everyone the knowledge that we know, where would our edge be? Yeah, but um, for sure this was a, this was a nice little chat. We've definitely had way better chats when we we're here. I think we're all a bit tired and uh, yeah, uh, but uh, we needed this day to rest, so our brains aren't uh, not as efficient as efficient it as it usually is. But um, I think we still had a good chat and. Uh, I hope some guys, I think the main point is like, that we kept on touching us, just, I guess, take risks, don't be frugal, invest into yourself, and Travel never give when up. you can. Travel, travel as much as possible when you're young. You can, there's nothing to lose at this age, yep. and um, just never give up. I think, the, for me, the, the saying that I personally live by is that one that I mentioned earlier, is like, if you, the day you give up is the day you lose. If you never give up, you'll never lose. Um, yeah, because that's literally how it is. If you never give up, you never. And, and things can change really quickly. Like yeah. the fact that that's also, yeah. Sebastiano and I are even here now, it's, it's it's truly amazing, bro. Like yeah, we've looked at each other many times and just dapped each other up. Yeah. It's, it's, it's sick, and you guys can do it too. But especially I mean, coming from South Africa, like this is not this is not from a point of arrogance at all. And I know Liam's is is even much more different. But for a lot of guys, you're gonna get your degree, and then work have to work probably 10 years in a corporate world to even make not as much as we're currently making i'm not saying that to be arrogant because i'm there's guys who make tons tons more money than me i'm not even like super high level um it's just what I'm, the point i'm trying to make is like look at how far you can go in one year i'm not saying i'm special at all frankly i'm not that special at all i just think you should realize like one year so much can change um like if you really put your mind to it you can achieve in one year of risks are taking, being in uncomfortable positions, what many people achieve being comfortable over 15 years. It just goes to show like what taking risk and being uncomfortable can help you achieve. Because people are always gonna be comfortable and stuff like that uh, in normal roles. 
some people are happy with that by the way i know i'm going off topic yeah. now but like some people are happy with that and there's no nothing wrong with that but if you are trying to overachieve for sure you just got to take risks and like i said by no means am i'm saying i'm so special and stuff like that like i'm not it just goes to show like in one year at our age what you can achieve if you do take the risks if yeah. you are tenacious and um, you invest into yourself because at the end of the day no one's gonna save you bro that's also not like no, no one's gonna do it for you no one's there to save you you gotta take your life the risk every single thing that happens in your life and every single thing that will happen in your life is completely your responsibility yeah and that's also one thing that people need to internalize if you are sitting in a shithole right now that is your fault i yeah. don't care if it's your, your parents that brought you up into this world you have the ability to change that situation and if you yeah. have the ability to change it that makes it your responsibility if you yeah. have the victim mentality or you have the mentality of it's not my responsibility then you're going to stay exactly where you're at no yeah. one's coming to save you nothing will change if you don't change so it's all on you i think one good thing definitely my boss has taught me over the last months he's been a really good mentor to me um is you've always got to be accountable for your actions like you need to stop also blaming sort of external things for for shortcomings and and stuff like that like there's always something you can improve on like blaming other things is always also the easy way out like you could have invested into some course and then you're like and then you didn't take much action like you could have you gave it 50 percent when you could have given it 100 and you're like oh this course was a scam because i didn't get any results no bro like you got to take accountability yeah. for what you're and you, doing even, and even if the course was terrible that's a learning curve that you have to take you know you got to yeah. take the hit the yeah. end of the day you decided to pay that person for the course and uh, it's even like me and my sales job i feel like last like the last three months i've gotten the same sort of statistics over the last three months and last month i just had a major dip i went from tripling my income the month before to then going to half of that the next month and i was like oh you know you know it just wasn't i just didn't have good uh, leads or um the other guys are more lucky than you know it's bullshit like you definitely can always improve and you must always be accountable for for your actions like uh, there is always really something that you can improve on even freaking jeff bezos can improve on something in his life like none of us are always ever perfect so you that's also just another good point i yeah. feel like i'm a fucking life advice <laughs> like a life coach but um yeah i'm not trying to sound like that's another disclaimer. Like, I, I really don't think uh, I'm special. I'm trying to... Hey, bro, we're um, just sharing our experiences. You know? Yeah, we just want to share our experiences. And we want you guys, because I know you guys do enjoy the content, to, to sort of see how we think. Like, yes. that's pretty much the premise of this. It's not to brag. It's not to show off. It's not to be like, look at me. Um, we really, both of us, are very humble down to earth. We're just trying to share our experiences and our thought processes. And uh, hopefully you guys can resonate with that, with us, because we were literally, like we said, a year ago, in the same boat as everybody so um yep. yeah yeah that's right. just like the premise of it i think we'll end it there bro yeah good. all, all right, right guys it was good man yeah. thank you for that if you guys enjoyed let me know actually because i know i've been posting vlogs but if you guys enjoyed the solid content let me know and i think we'll probably rip a few more of them while we're here in bali yeah but yeah do you ever uh, want to tell them when uh, the vlog's going to come out the next one? Oh yeah so trying to drop a vlog every sunday but unfortunately my videographer Mike he didn't have a charger for his laptop while we were here in Bali so it took a little bit of time to get that up and running so he couldn't get edited he couldn't get starting to edit on the vlogs yeah. but he's got the charger now so I'm gonna probably be dropping in a couple of days but yeah. for today a little podcast for you guys all right gents cheers all right.